Welcome back to the channel. If you or your loved one has been diagnosed with a hernia, you might be wondering what I should do. Should you opt for laparoscopic or open hernia repair? In today's video, we'll break down the key main differences between these two surgical options, their pros and cons, and which one might be the best choice for you. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support the channel and stay updated with the latest health content. So what is a hernia repair? A hernia occurs when an internal organ or part of tissue pushes through a weak spot in the surrounding muscles or connective tissue. The only way to definitely repair a hernia is through surgery. Broadly speaking, there are mainly two primary techniques. One is open hernia repair and one is laparoscopic uh, hernia repair. Let's explore one by one. The open repair is the traditional method of fixing a hernia. It involves the single incision directly over the hernia site. So uh, what we usually do, we make an incision over the hernia. The protruding tissue is pushed back to its original place and mesh, that is a uh, sheet of synthetic material may be placed over the weak area to reinforce it. They, then the incision is closed with sutures, staples or surgical glue. So now who is a good candidate for open surgery? After the recent advances of laparoscopy and robotic surgery, the indications uh, or patients for open uh, surgery has decreased. But those who have had previous abdominal surgeries with scar tissues, Patients who are not fit to tolerate the general anesthesia, in them open repair can be done under local anesthesia in most of the cases. Now what are the advantages of open surgery? It can also be done by local, spinal or general anesthesia. It is more suitable for large or complex hernia, even recurrent ones. It has a shorter operative time compared to laparoscopic repair. Now, does it have a disadvantage? Yes. It has a longer recovery time because we are making an incision. So because of the large incision, you can feel more post-operative pain and it has a higher risk of infection and scarring. By the way, most viewers watching right now are not subscribed. If you are finding the content useful, hit that subscribe button to be informed about the health and modern surgical topics. Now if you jump to laparoscopic hernia repair, it is one of the most commonly performed procedure for hernia. It is a minimally invasive technique. We make uh, three or four small cuts through which some port goes in, instrument goes in and surgery takes place. A tiny camera is inserted to guide the surgery. The surgeon repairs the hernia from the inside using mesh to reinforce the weakened area. The incision are closed with small sutures or glue. Now who are the good candidates for laparoscopic surgery? Patients with small or medium sized hernias, those who want faster recovery and minimal scarring, patients with bilateral hernia or recurrent hernias, athletes or individuals who want to return to activity quickly. Now, what are the advantages of laparoscopic surgery? As we have already discussed, the incisions are smaller, so pain will be less, the recovery will be faster. So, and uh, as it is cosmetically more acceptable, there will be smaller scars. It has a lower risk of infection compared to open surgery. For the bilateral hernias, it is easy for a surgeon to repair with only three or four tiny holes. Regarding the disadvantages, there are not many, but it requires general anesthesia and it has a longer operating time if we compare with an open surgery. Now, if we compare both laparoscopic and open hernia repair, which one is right for you? So, which surgery is best for you? Here is a quick comparison. So, if we divide in some factors like incision size, in open surgery, incision will be bigger, around 3 to 4 cm. In laparoscopic surgery, there will be three tiny incision. Recovery time, in open surgery, it will be a bit more, around 3 to 4 weeks. 
but after laparoscopic surgery you can resume your day to day life after one week. If we consider the pain level, it will be higher in open surgery little bit, but it will be lower in laparoscopic surgery. Scarring, it is more visible in open surgery because we are making a longer cut and it is very minimal in laparoscopic surgery. Anesthesia requirement for open surgery, it can be done under local, spinal or general anesthesia, but for laparoscopic surgery, only general anesthesia is required. Open surgery is based for large complex hernia and the patients not fit to take general anesthesia, but laparoscopic surgery is uh, suitable for small or medium hernias and bilateral hernias. Ultimately, the best choice depends on your individual case. Consulting with an experienced laparoscopic surgeon can help you determine the right approach based on your medical history, lifestyle and recovery goals. Both open and laparoscopic surgery repairs are effective, but each has its benefit and limitations. If you or someone you know is considering hernia surgery, talk to your surgeon to see which method is best suited for your requirement. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more health related content. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions or any relevant topic you want us to cover in our videos. Thank you. Take care of yourself.